We are being challenged today more and more to address our own financial security through scams. What is a, Melissa, what is an employment scam? I'm finding difficult to get my head around that one. Well, you know, when I first started, I don't want to give my age away, but when I first started at the BBB, there were all these scams going around telling people you can make all kinds of money by staying at home and stuffing envelopes. And so now we, post COVID, uh, the scam has really changed. And so now that uh, a lot of people are working from home, maybe they're, they're looking to get out of their, their job into uh, an opportunity where they can work at home. There are a lot of scams in this arena. And it's really difficult for consumers who are job seeking to find the right employer for them and making sure it's a legitimate employer. Mm. And so what we hear from a lot of consumers and even from job listing sites is that uh, there are a lot of uh, fake job postings. And so what will happen is they will contact you for an interview. Oftentimes it's a remote interview by Zoom. And uh, lucky you, you have gotten the job. Congratulations. And so now they are looking for personal information because oftentimes that, that's what happens in a job interview. Uh, they need your, your social security number. Mm -hmm. They need banking information. Um, but you know, surprisingly enough, it's a company that you've never heard of. Um, they do not have a very strong digital presence, so it's really hard to learn about them. And they might be asking you to do some things that you've never heard of before. Maybe it's receiving uh, electronics in the mail that are being shipped to you. You have to repackage those items and then ship them someplace else which is a very common scam. Uh, the other one that we see pretty frequently is car wrapping. So you have your vehicle and your job is to drive around town with uh, decals on your car. And hmm. again, these people, they, they tell you that they're gonna send you a check and um, for <coughs> your- Excuse me. They're going to send you a check for your expenses. You cash that check and you put the decals on your car. And next thing you know, that check you hear back from the bank and that was a fake check. And now this company that you've never heard of before has your social security number, your banking information, and you're left paying the bill for that fake check. So the response is read, reread, and then read again. And, and research. And then read again. Yes, research. You can certainly call our office. Uh, we'd be happy to walk you through it. And um, the number for the office and the website? Our website is bbb.org, um, and our phone number is 330-744-3111. And if unsure, call your Better Business Bureau. They're there to help you. I want to thank you for joining me, and I thank you, Melissa, as well. I'm Dee Crawford, Community Affairs Director, WKBN. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.